In this video, I'll be explaining the difference between effusion and diffusion, and I'll be talking about Graham's law of effusion. So let's start with effusion. Diffusion. So, whenever we say something diffuses, so diffusion is when it when it moves through space. So, to define it well, diffusion is the movement of matter through space. So, movement. of matter to space and well in this case that matter refers to gases because we're talking about gases so when a gas diffuses you can picture it as something like this you have a glass and it's covered here so there's something covering it here and you have your gas particles, let's say oxygen, just flowing here. So they're, they're moving everywhere. And this is O2. Now, when you take this top off, this these particles will move out. So they're, they're moving through space. So that's what we call diffusion. So the gas, or the oxygen in this case, is diffusing through the glass into into the air. And then combining with, with all the other gases around. So that's when something diffuses. Now, now let's talk about effusion. Effusion. Effusion is the movement of a gas through a pinhole. So movement... Gas to a pinhole. So it will be something like this. We have first this this section here, and this this part is not open, so the so nothing will will pass in, into this section. And our gas is all compressed in this area, as you can see. But then when you open this, you can see right here, there's a pinhole there. So the gas will effuse through that pinhole. It will pass through that pinhole and just effuse around what's next to the pinhole. So instead of just concentrating in one section, like this one, it will move through the pinhole or effuse through the pinhole and just scatter all around. So again, to, to repeat, diffusion is when it moves through space, so everywhere, and diffusion is when it goes through a pinhole and just moves around, scatters around. Now this concept, diffusion, introduces a law stated by Graham. So it's Graham's law of, it's called Graham's law of diffusion. So Graham's. And it wasn't stated because he wanted to know at what rate gas, different gases diffuse. So will a heavier gas diffuse faster? Will a lighter gas diffuse faster? And that's what Graham investigated. And well, what he found out was that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass. So it is inversely proportional, I just wrote it in prop, uh, to the square root of molar mass, of its molar mass. So to make it simpler, we're you could say that heavy gases use more slowly. So heavy means slower 
effusion and to put concept into numbers Graham's law of effusion is written as UA over UB is equal to square root of the more mm, mm, this can be used in tomorrow so I'm going to say this is more mass of B over more mass of A so it is the rate of effusion is inversely proportional to the square root so you could just think of it as this for the same so to to know the difference between two gases so you have a uh, gas A and a gas B you can just simply write it as this whole equation this is our ground law of effusion so let's solve a problem really quickly using ground law of effusion so let's say we have two different gases we have helium and methane so we'll have helium here and methane methane is CH4 and these two gases effuse now you want to know which one will will effuse faster so you have to find the rate of effusion of each of them so the first thing you want to do is find the more mass of each so the more mass of helium is four uh, about four grams per mole and methane let me figure this uh, more mass CH4 is about 16 I don't know, just by just looking at it, you can say that methane is four times heavier. So CH, CH4 is four times heavier than helium. So my prediction would be that helium would diffuse faster. But let's do it just by using the formula. We have, let me erase this this over methane and it's inversely proportional so they'll have different orders we'll write more mass of helium here and the more more mass of CH4 here and this is supposed to just be a new a U like this so don't get confused between the more masses and, and the rates of effusion and when you put numbers here, you plug, we have 16 over 4 grams, grams, so we get about 4, but let me, so UHE over UCH, so here's our methane, is 4. Now just you just have to to solve for one so u h e would be 4 u c h 4 and there's a square root here I forgot to put it so we get 2 u c h 4 this, this there's a square root here because it was the more mass divided so and there was a square root here so we get we, we get two so finally what this tells us is that the rate of of helium is twice as big as the rate of of methane so helium will if used two times as fast as methane will